Welcome back, brilliant minds, to another captivating episode of Physics Theory V's Practical. I'm Arun, and today we're diving deep into the fascinating world of total internal reflection and its extraordinary applications. So, grab your lab coats and safety goggles as we journey through this enthralling world of optics. Prepare to be inspired, amazed, and most importantly, educated on the wonders of total internal reflection and its real-life implications. Let's get started with total internal reflection. As we set up the experiment, you'll notice the arrangements are very clear, and at this stage, we can observe refraction only. Now, as I gradually change the angle of incidence, you'll be able to see both refraction and reflection. And as we progress, watch closely as the ray passes through the surface of the medium, resulting in no refraction, only reflection. Total internal reflection is an optical phenomenon where all the light is reflected back inside a denser medium instead of passing through the boundary when the angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle. The two conditions for total internal reflection are 1. The angle at which the light enters the boundary, angle of incidence, must be greater than the critical angle. 2. The medium from which the light comes, incident material, must be denser than the medium it is entering, second material. When these two conditions are met, the light will not pass through the boundary, but will be reflected back inside the denser medium. Total internal reflection is a crucial principle used in various optical applications, such as fiber optics and prismatic effects in gems like diamonds, which create beautiful sparkles. The critical angle is the minimum angle of incidence at the boundary between two media, where light is entirely reflected back into the denser medium rather than refracted into the less dense medium. A periscope is an optical device comprising two right-angled prisms that allow users to see over tall objects by using total internal reflection of light within the prisms. The phenomenon of double reflection, as seen in prisms, reflectors and signboards, occurs due to the process of total internal reflection within these objects. The light undergoes multiple internal reflections, enabling the redirection of the light in a specific way, resulting in the formation of clear and visible images or signs. Diamonds are precious and the hardest material in the world. Their value is determined by the four CEs, carat, cut, clarity, and color. One of the CS is cut. The magic happens when skilled diamond cutters create facets that act like mirrors, reflecting light within the gem. As light enters the diamond, it slows down and undergoes total internal reflection, bouncing from one facet to another, creating a sparkling effect. The high refractive index of the diamond, which is 2417, results in a small critical angle of 24.5 degrees, ensuring the trapped light stays within, enhancing the diamond's allure. Additionally, dispersion occurs, separating white light into beautiful colors, adding to its mesmerizing beauty. Diamonds are not only precious gems, they're captivating wonders of nature and science that dazzle us with their brilliance. When laser light passes through an iron powder water mixture encased in a plastic tube, it scatters off the tiny iron particles suspended in water, creating a visible path through the cloudy medium. The scattering effect showcases how light interacts with different substances, making it a captivating and educational experiment. Moreover, the total internal reflection of the laser light within the mixture is very clear.
When laser light passes through the glass rod and undergoes total internal reflection, the light bounces off the inner surfaces of the rod and remains confined within it. As a result, we can clearly see the light emerging and propagating through the other end of the glass rod, demonstrating the phenomenon of total internal reflection and the efficient light guiding properties of the glass material. By setting up a long glass tube, 75 keem in length, filled with water and sealed at both ends, we can observe a remarkable phenomenon known as total internal reflection. As the laser light passes through the water-filled tube, it undergoes repeated internal reflections at the boundary between water and air, allowing the light to propagate along the entire length of the tube It's a simple experimental setup that anyone can try at home. As the laser pointer's light passes through the water and reaches the boundary with air at an angle greater than the critical angle, the light undergoes internal reflection, bouncing back and forth inside the water. This creates a captivating visual effect as the light bends and propagates along the flowing stream, revealing the magic of physics and the wonders of total internal reflection. As we activate the laser, the light travels through the fiber cable, utilizing the principle of total internal reflection to remain confined within the cable's core. The light then emerges at the other end, beautifully illustrating how optical fibers efficiently transmit signals over long distances without significant loss. Witness the magic of light propagation through this tiny cable and delve into the fascinating world of modern communication technology in our exciting experiment. In this exploration of medical technology, we delve into the world of endoscopy, a remarkable procedure that enables physicians to gain valuable insights into the human body. Using a slender flexible tube equipped with a miniature camera and light source, endoscopy allows for non-invasive examination of internal organs and structures. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the world of refraction and optic fiber cables.